Right, hello folks, hope all is well with you. Next stage of the painting. Uh, and I've, this might be a difficult, a quick session, but a difficult session for me because I'm, I'm trying to be delicate in this one, which I don't know if you've noticed from my painting, delicate is not really uh, at the forefront of my skill set. Um, so I'm going to have a go. I'm going to be putting some, well it's spring isn't it, so I've, I've got some yellow some yellow already on the, you see I'm not going to be using much paint, but a few different colours. Just a bit of splodging. Right, not too much. You can always come back and do some more. I have got a few colours I want to put on today. Uh, what next? Oh yeah. light blue next Oh, I meant to tell you, uh, uh, <laughs> this is um, a sort of, tri not a tribute, part of a follow-on from my previous tri previous two spring flower paintings I've done. I've lost one. I've lost the second. I've actually lost a painting. I was looking for the um, looking for the next one, to, to, um, one of the previous ones to show you, which was the second one that I did. And um, I couldn't find it. I thought, oh well, obviously I just can't. I haven't got that to hand. I'll find it. I'll get it later. And when I actually looked for it, I still can't find it. So how do you lose? A, how do you lose a painting? Well, I seem to have managed it. Being a messy git, full stop in life, it sort of doesn't. Well, I say it doesn't help. It does help when it comes to losing photos. Losing paintings, rather. It'll turn up because it hasn't gone, and it hasn't gone. It is somewhere. I always say things like that. They've, it's slipped into an alternative universe. And what happened? What will happen is at some point I'll just, I'll just walk in somewhere, and it'll be staring me right in the face. I think, well, how have I missed that? Right, what colour was that? That was yellow ochre. And I just put on. What next? Let's go for some orange. So, as you can see, this this dabbing I'm doing. It's just a, a suggestion. Well, basically the whole painting is just a suggestion, isn't it? My, well, <laughs> could be argued my whole life is just a suggestion. Of flowers in the background, in the distance. Flowers in the distance, that's what they're supposed to be. I said earlier I didn't want to do too many. I'm not sure I've got enough there. Now, I'll keep going. Because these are not designed to 
I'm going to be putting something further in the foreground and more dominant. So I don't want these background ones to distract. But on the first one I did, the first spring painting, I did the, the sort of more dominant ones in the foreground and then realised it was a bit sparse in the back. It could have done with some more. So for the second one, the one that I've lost, I did put in more background. More distant, smaller suggestions of flowers. But, I think it looked better, but I almost did too many of them. Which is why I'm trying to not do too many this time. Okay. So we've had yellow, yellow, cerulean blue, yellow ochre, <coughs> orange, and scarlet red. Uh, I'm going a bit of oh, cool. I mean that. That was tight, the lid was tight on that screw top. And sometimes when you're undoing a screw top, you can really hurt your fingers. God. Okay. A bit of rose, I think. I'm not sure how rosy that looks. I mean, in a classic English rose, I would say the scarlet, scarlet red looks more rosy. But uh, thinking about it, if, you, if someone said to you, what colour is that? Rose is a reasonable answer, I guess. looking a bit dark because the green is darkening it, pulling the colour in. Yeah, so you can't really see that as the rose. Got one more colour, I think, to go on. Let's have a bit of white in there. I wasn't sure about whether to put white in or not. But I'm hoping that the white will lift all the other colours. Because it'll draw the eye in, it'll make the eye think, what's going on there? But not too much, don't want too much. Oh yeah, that works. Yes. Enough? Almost enough. Now, because I've got the all the other colours on the palette, I could go in and add some more, couldn't I? In fact, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Which colours do you reckon? Oh, don't do too much, don't do too much. No, have a look. Oh, so I've got to make a decision here. They're looking a bit spaced out to me. But I don't want to do too much. It is just a suggestion. I'm tempted to leave those. A bit more orange, maybe. Some of the brighter ones. Maybe cluster some of them together. Oh, 
Ah uh, yes, what I was doing was putting it, spotting them all separately, all as individual dabs. So it didn't, it, it didn't have that, ra that's better, it's looking a bit more, a bit more random. Let's have a quick, I do need a quick swish of the brush. that was the difference putting the colors next to each other more so they weren't all individual blobs just in the middle of nowhere do you think that looks okay Yes, I'm happy with that. Right, stop, 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 don't do too much. Okay, <laughs> right, that's it for this one. I think I'm going to let those little bits dry, won't take long, and then um, back for the next one. See you on the next one.